Following their donations to storm relief efforts, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, along with their closest friends Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, enjoyed a romantic double date night. On Friday night, the A-list quartet was spotted making their way to the popular restaurant The Corner Store in New York City's Soho District. Travis and Taylor showed off their PDA as they walked hand-in-hand hand to the hot spot following Swifty's criticism of his ex-girlfriend Kayla Nicole for her recent candid interview. The pop superstar dazzled everyone with a provocative black and nude corset with lots of lace and a monogram design. She also wore matching leather-heeled shoes and a silk black miniskirt to flaunt her very long legs. Taylor looked stunning next to her Super Bowl winning partner while hiding under a large, beige, double-breasted coat. She carried a $4,400 black leather Christian Dior saddlebag and accessorized with gold earrings, a necklace, and several rings. She wore her famously blonde hair down and used natural makeup to draw attention to her flawless skin, contrasting it with a vibrant red lip swipe. Travis wore a button-down shirt with a blue design, matching pants, and white sneakers for a laid-back look. Their double dates arrived at the American restaurant holding hands and with just as much affection. Blake, 37, looked lovely in a burgundy outfit that was entirely translucent and had a clingy dress paired with matching stockings and leather shoes. She added a big chain necklace and a tiny black beaded purse as accessories. She wore her blonde hair down into waves that cascaded over her shoulders as she displayed her natural appearance with complimentary makeup. Ryan, 47, wore light brown suede boots with a navy blue pair of pants and a white, zip-up, short sleeve shirt. The couple, who have four children together, went on the vacation after it was made public that they had generously donated to hurricane relief efforts following the destruction that Helene and Milton had inflicted over the previous two weeks. On Thursday, it was made public that Blake and Ryan, who were said to have a combined net worth of $380 million, had given $1 million to the Disaster Relief Fund of the nonprofit Feeding America. The seven-figure donation would help people impacted by Hurricanes Helene and Milton rebuild and recover, Feeding America said on Instagram. These funds will assist food banks in meeting the basic needs of communities experiencing devastating loss and a protracted recovery such as water, ready-to-eat food, and supplies. The donation from Lively and Reynolds coincides with Taylor Swift, their millionaire friend, who gave a staggering $5 million to Storm Recovery the day before. Meanwhile, after revealing details about her connection with the Kansas City Chiefs star this week, Travis' ex-girlfriend Kayla Nicole has come under fire from Taylor's supporters. Nicole, who briefly dated Kelsey five years before to his relationship with Swift, was questioned about her previous partner on the most recent episode of WNBA player Angel Reese's podcast, Unapologetically Angel. Amidst numerous other disclosures, the 32-year-old influencer elucidated the reasons behind Travis and Taylor's noncommunication in public, as well as the impact of the vicious harassment she has received from the Swifties on social media. Following her candid interview, Swift's devoted following has once again attacked Nicole. What does she mean there's no room for us to talk? Why would it be her in a relationship? Is she stupid? Someone wrote on X. Another said he's in a better place now. This girl needs to move on. Why is she discussing him? Let us proceed, murmured a third. A fourth statement would be, there is no room for you anymore when your ex is in a new, serious relationship. One, however, just said, she is really embarrassing herself. Swifties also took issue with Nicole as she didn't address the singer by name, referring to her as Kelsey's new situation instead. When asked if she and Travis would talk to each other in public, she replied, I'd probably like to hit him with a head nod. That's all there is to it. We have seen each other in public places, but given the circumstances surrounding his condition, we simply cannot acknowledge or speak to each other in public. We would simply keep things going. One admirer remarked, Travis made the first move, and now Taylor is just a situation? How daring this woman is. Another person said, I'm laughing at the situation in question, which is Taylor Mother F. G. Swift. This is referred to as a relationship. Yours is referred to as a creepy ex situation. Nicole also denied any truth to the accusations that during their relationship, Kelsey forced her to split the tab on dates. Do I seem like I would split the costs equally? 
Nicole said in response to Reese's question about whether it was the reason they broke up in 2022. That was absurd. That much is true. However, he also addressed that. I have no idea why that became popular. That was undoubtedly a rumor on the internet, but it was never a problem in our relationship.